Taiwanese dessert very authentic. Authentic. It's called Black Ball. So it's called Michelle Black must Ball. really like him. <laughs> Yo, Zander, Michelle thinks you're cute, dude. Yo, y'all going to the bars? That's the best head I've ever gotten. <laughs> Guys, just let you guys know, there's always hope. So when you're in the middle of a really hard poop that won't come out, just know that there's always hope. This is the OE. This is very pretty. Guess who's not taking off their shirt at the beach? This guy. Pro tip, whenever you have, you're pulling a foo baby, you kind of just hold your finger like that. People will think it's the wind, won't even notice your stomach. Whoa guys, it's so windy outside. Whoa! <laughs> This is the view from my face. You can only see my stomach. On the lows of key, Annabelle's pretty sexy. Yo, this place is gorgeous, yo. This place is prettier than Becky with the big booty. VIP tickets to the fucking party, bro. <laughs> Just made it through security. I was a little worried because of all my guns I got, you know? Bam. All right, so this is the sky space, the OE skyscraper. Whoa, dude, what is this? Hello, I'm Mayor Eric Carson. What the? Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm in Star Trek. Interactive media level entrance. Oh my god, guys, this view is so pretty outside the skyscraper. Jimmy Camel's here, Ellen DeGeneres, Modern Family. Uh, god, guys, I'm such a famous person. Once you hit a thousand subscribers, you get paparazzi everywhere. Uh, apparently, you could see all the way down the doors there. Oh, Nightcrawler was here? Dude, this is a great movie. Oh, shoot, Zoran, where you at? I've been in the booth, you know, you know how we do. First of all, this is way too good thing I'm short, you know? Freestyle. Boopy dee scoop. Scoop dee dee whoop. I love you. I miss you. Oh shoot, Kawhi Leonard. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> uh, Ibrahimovic, the man himself. This could have been you, Kawhi. This could have been you. Uh -huh. Yo, you know what's really awesome to watch? W it. Mm -hmm. What is this? Oh, you can draw stuff? That was draw to scale. So now we're on the 70th floor. I heard this is where the magic happens. Yo! Yeah. Look at that. Just see the outside real quick. Whoa. Just out here cutting rug. So we're here at OA uh, eye doctor exam. <laughs> Hold it right there. Tell me what looks clearer, sample A or sample B? Uh, the first one. Okay, the first one. Can you read out the first row of letters? I can show you the Freaking awesome. What an experience on the OE skyscraper. Definitely recommend you guys check this place out. I'm about to get a quick workout. Bicep curls, tricep extensions, I'm gonna yeah. work out. I think I'm pretty sure that's where Tony Stark lives, Stark's industry. So Santa Monica. Actually, the group is pretty good. <laughs> Look at my face. A few moments later. Okay, so everyone's super exhausted, but we made it to Santa Monica. This is where Forrest Gump was filmed. This music and vibe just reminds me of Tony Hawk Pro Skaters or Wasteland. Skaters, yas! Bubba was always my best friend. Shrimp is the fruit of the sea. There's pineapple, shrimp, lemon, shrimp, coconut, shrimp, all types of shrimp. Oh, It's Christmas time, not nah, it's Hanukkah. <laughs> Chilling out here, we at Santa Monica. But I'm not a rapper. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the city of Santa Monica allows us to perform here. Oh, Sam. This is my baby boy, Messiah. He got the moves. Hey! Hey! Push up, sir. They had coming with the diaper flow. Still in campus. 
<laughs> Yo, dude. What's up? My name is Zin, and we're out here at Santa Monica Pier, uh, 2019, and we're rocking real cool. Y'all saw it. There was tree performers out there, you know. Pretty tight. It's a little cold outside, but you know, I'm always hot, so it's good, you know? Yeah. Overall review of Santa Monica, very packed and dirty, but yeah, I'm saying, I'm kind of tired, so didn't really do anything. Got to drop Michelle off there. You're leaving LA already. Have a safe flight. This is the challenge. She has been eliminated. Now there's just three. Jesus Christ, I am so tired from today. Going to this Grand Central Market, OE Skyscraper, and Santa Monica, that was a tough trip. But it was so fun that we got to do all those things. I'm really glad that we had the time to do that. So, gonna rest up real quick, and then I'll catch up with you guys when we head out. Plot twist, Tao has to get up early tomorrow because she has to buy stuff to bring home. So now we are picking up food and bringing it back to the hotel. So we're going to Snow Monster, which is a famous bubble tea and dessert place. And then also we're going to In-N-Out again. <laughs> but this time I'm more sober. Yeah, so this is Little Saigon, and I wish I got more time in Cali to explore this because this dead ass smells and look exactly like Vietnam, which is actually where I'm from. This is so Vietnamese. Vid as fuck. Okay. All right, so we're in the Snow Monster. All right, so we got the strawberry matcha, passion fruit tea, and then taro milk tea. So we are here at a dessert place. It's called Sweet Honey Desserts. Ken really wanted to go here, so we're about to check it out. What you getting, bud? Oh, red bean Ooh, okay. All right, what do we get? Red bean tofu dessert. Red bean tofu. What the f <laughs> Durian pancakes. Guess where we are, guys. Can't leave California without trying it twice, right? <laughs> so three double doubles with onion for in the car. We're ready to go. All right, so we are back at the hotel. This is the last night in the hotel. And I'm gonna give you guys a rundown of everything we got. Matcha strawberry milk tea. This passion fruit tea for my sister. And then for me, taro milk tea. I got some mango poppers and some mochi. We got red bean tofu. I'll show you guys later. Durian patty things. Then in and out double doubles. Look at how sexy that is. Damn. Something about In-N-Out in California making me want to change my mind about the debate. Shake Shack is better quality, but for the bang of its buck, I think In-N-Out would win. So fire. All right, last bite. I don't like durian that much. So this is a durian thing, and durian is a fruit from my country, and it smells like poo poo. And then they eat the poo poo. But it's supposed to taste really good. Whoa. It's an acquired taste, I think. The outside is good. Hold on, let me get in the bite. Yeah, it's good. Especially if you like durian, it's good. Red bean tofu. I'm not eating it anymore. I doesn't want an In-N-Out burger. Say less. Hey, get another In-N-Out burger. Oh, that means Whoa. Taro's good. Oh, this is so good. I love taro. Just anything taro is good. There's a good combo right here. Mango poppers and mochi. Mm -mm -mm. All right, I don't know if I'm gonna finish this because I'm pretty full, but I do love red bean. So this is red bean tofu. I don't like tofu, but yep, don't like tofu. <laughs> <laughs> but red bean, not sweet enough. <sighs> the next day. Bye. Fly safely. So as you guys saw, we just dropped off my sister and Ken at the airport because their flights were a little earlier than mine. Mine is actually later tonight at 10 o'clock. Before we go eat, I'm going to go to Barbell Brigade to get a workout, which is a famous gym here, and I'm like, super excited to check it out. I'm so freaking stoked. We are here at Barbell Brigade, and it is very rustic vibe out here. It's in the outskirts of downtown LA, I believe. I'm gonna be doing an upper body workout. I'm freaking tired. I only had like two hours of sleep, but I drank a 3D energy, and I think I'm gonna take some pre-workout, and I'm just gonna dry scoop the fuck out of it. I love checking out new gyms. Seen a lot of pictures, and seen a lot of workouts here. It's awesome that I get to visit it. It seems like a private gym on this. I kind of fuck with it. I've been Yo, I'm not gonna even lie, I'm gassed right now. Holy shit. Guess this went two hours of sleep with you, dude. I just realized that this gym doesn't have a shower, so I'm 
you smell like shit all day. Not like I need it. And you may have some history. I am fucking sweaty and dehydrated and dying slowly. All right, we just finished a workout at Barbell Brigade. Very rustic gym. It's got only the essentials, which is what you really need in a gym. The only issue at all, the music was tight, everything was tight. The only thing I had a problem with was that there's no shower because now I smell like shit. I actually had to Google this. I was like, how the f do I shower if I'm traveling on the road? And there's apparently truck stop showers. So I'm about to pay to get in one. It's only like 10 bucks. So I'm about to do that. Cause I cannot go to the airport smelling like donkey shit. I'll feel bad for all the people near me. You know what I mean? Fuck, I'm so tired. Look at this. This is the scene outside the gym. That's pretty uh, interesting. It's different. So let's head to the truck stop shower. Really dead ass here at a truck stop. This is hilarious. I mean, I guess this is what like people who travel a lot. Okay, so this is a clip actually from my phone. They want to look that sketch but this is the truck stop bathroom area. Let's see how bad it is. Okay, this looks like a YMCA bathroom. All right, not too bad, not too bad. This is actually freaking hilarious. I love doing travel stuff like this, like new things, figuring out how life works, <laughs> catch up with you guys. Let me get back to the car. All right, so your boy has officially showered up, looking fresh as a motherfucker. We are now gonna try out some of the must-eat foods of Los Angeles while we are still here. First off, we're gonna try the best pastrami sandwich in all of LA. Very notable spot that I've seen online, so I'm gonna go check that out, and it's at Langer's. Well, I pulled up to the spot and it's a meter spot, but look at the meter. It's almost as non-existent as Zorn's legs. I hope I don't get a ticket. This is our parking. We're gonna be in and out anyways. I'm just gonna get that sandwich and smash it. This area of town is kind of dirty, but it's really cool. Everybody's out and about here. New York Times, the eatery is Los Angeles calls its own. So this is a really famous spot. I'm Apparently here, the famous pastrami sandwich, this number 19 right here, is the world famous number 19 hand cut hot pastrami, coleslaw, Swiss cheese, and Russian dressing on double baked rye bread. Let's see how fast I can eat it. <laughs> guys look at the inside of this it's freaking hefty as hell all right i bet you they never had anyone just try to eat this as fast as possible for shits and giggles i'm gonna throw a timer on this thing is hefty this is a big sandwich it's really good Three minutes. Let's smack this in under five. Quarter broth, please. Quarter broth. And just like that, we knocked out the famous sandwich. Four minutes, 14. Pretty solid. This is definitely the best pastrami I've ever had. Definitely recommend you guys check that out. All right, so now we're gonna catch up with my sister and Ken. So their flight got delayed, and so she just got tickets for tomorrow. So she's gonna stay an extra night. So looks like I'm gonna meet up with them. All right, catch you guys at the next spot. And just like that, we knocked out Langers in about five or 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, that was fantastic. I would definitely recommend that. Best pastrami I've ever had. But now we're gonna catch up with my sister. Look who flew back. That was fast. Came to North Carolina and back in one day. Three hours. Yeah. So anyways, I finally picked them up. Getting crunch time, it's like five. I have to be back at the airport at around 8.30. So we have three hours left. We're driving out to Ramen. I'm gonna see if I can hit up two places. Worst comes to worst, I'll just eat something in the airport. The time has finally come. So we're here at Koreatown and we're gonna rock into Daiko Yuka. And it's the original one. It's the oldest ramen place in all of LA. I'm pretty stoked. I'm gonna try to eat it as fast as possible just so I can knock out another place here in Koreatown. Kuya, the famous ramen place. Let's check it out. We're next. First thing I got is raspberry iced tea. It's so sweet. It's like really sweet. Wow. It's good, but it's sweet. And then I got the most famous thing, that, that Kuya ramen. Look how massive this is. This is my hand. Well, given my hands are really small anyways, but yeah, there's a flavor in this too. It's like almost a, a light hint of fishy taste in the noodles, which, I, which is good. It has a ton of flavor. That's tight. It's soft. Well, 
爆发。<笑> That's the authentic way of drinking ramen. So that was really good. Definitely recommend it. Probably the best ramen here. This is the best ramen I ever had. I can't really recall, to be honest. But um, next spot. We are out here in Little Tokyo. Anasio. Yo, y'all know any Japanese? As I've been here so long, I might become an anime character. Tutea. Gonna walk to the milk tea. You know what's the most Japanese phone company? T-Mobile. You know it's a Japanese area when they promote studying. Rumor has it he got stuck to be a statue because he got a B. <laughs> Yo, so at this place, milk plus tea, you can put your own toppings in. Look how sick this is. But more toppings mean less of the drink. So you gotta strategize this. I got the Guilt Trip, which is a blended lactose-free milk with swirls of chocolate caramel and handcrafted brown sugar. So I added some cookies and cream ice cream. Give this monstrosity a try. It is so sweet. The whole concept is good. I fuck with it. Because it's not tea and it's sweet. Ice cream. Let's try the ice cream. It's actually like not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be. Double straw. Alright. It tastes a lot like gale. Yeah. Alright, so we're finished with Little Tokyo and we are now heading to the mall because they're staying here an extra day without bags. They gotta get clothes. Yes. They're looking for stores when they go to malls. I just look for the food. Yo, so there's another sprinkles here. You guys saw my other vlog. Their salted caramel donuts are fire. Alright, so we got a caramel chocolate chip cupcake from Sprinkles. Love caramel. So I hope it tastes kind of like the other one. Oh, my camera battery's about to die. My battery's in the midst of dying, so gotta finish this fast. Oh, fuck. Yo, this is good as fuck. It's so sweet. Okay. Alright, about to smash it. In case my camera dies, I'll catch up you guys whenever I can charge it. Alright, so in conclusion, not as good as the other flavor, but it's still really good. It's just really sweet. The original salted camera one was better. Alright, I'm gonna find the others and catch up with you guys when I'm in my car and can swap my batteries. Alright, so made it to the airport, closing up the vlog here. Thank you so much if you guys have been watching. I didn't really get to do much today. I didn't get to go to that many spots as I wanted to. All in all, great trip. I still had fun. It was nice to see LA for the first time. It was great to be in California. Finally say that I've been to the West Coast. But yeah, so great trip. Thank you so much if you guys have been watching these last two or three vlogs, whatever I end up making this. If you guys enjoy my travel vlog, Make sure you guys check out the other ones as well. Make sure you smash up the thumbs up button. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys next time. Peace. Pacing for the profits. Ain't no way we break the code. Keep your pockets like the tropics. Don't let rocks disrupt your flow. We was outside with no options. All we knew was get and go. But these haters trying to take it. So it's time to get some more.